Live from the KC Property Guys and KC Pier Studio in beautiful Kansas City. Home to over 200 fountains and more barbecue restaurants per capita than anywhere in the nation. It's the Kansas City Real Estate Industry Leaders Show. A show about industry leaders from the local Kansas City metro market for Kansas City real estate related professionals and enthusiasts like you. Like you. And now, here's your hosts, Eric and Lucas Shaley. How's it going, everybody? My name is Lucas Shaley, and welcome to the Kansas City Real Estate Industry Leaders Podcast. I'm here today with my co-host, Eric Shaley. How are you doing today, Eric? Good, good, thanks. Good, good, good. So you want to tell the viewers what we're going to be talking a little bit about today? Well, this is the Kansas City Industry Leaders Podcast, right? Out of our studio here in Kansas City, Kansas. And we're going to be inviting people here on a weekly basis specifically related to real estate and industry leaders within the realm of real estate. So we're going to have everybody from developers to other co-investors to brokers to real estate industry uh, professionals themselves and talking to about what are talking about what they do and how they do it. Awesome. Right? At the same time, uh, you know, we as cash investors and also Casey Peer Foundation experts here. Um, we're going to do some outtakes specifically with you and I, where we talk about, uh, the cash for houses industry and, and different regulations and things that we recognize on a week to week basis about the industry. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think we're going to have some great guests in here. Uh, we're going to talk specifically about Kansas city and the regional market. You know, if you're a fan of real estate, if you're looking to invest in real estate, if you're just interested in real estate, which a lot of people are, you know, with HGTV and the excitement around that and how many how many people are sitting down at night and watching uh, Joanne and Chip down in Texas yeah, flip quite houses. A few, quite yeah, a few. you bet. And, and all the different, you know, spinoffs of, of, of those outtakes and, and anybody with a general interest in real estate and wants to get to know specifically the Kansas City market, we're going to have people in here that's going to talk about that on a week to week basis. So I'm I'm excited about that. Yeah, absolutely. And we're excited to share it with you guys as well. So the topic we have today is actually the fast cash industry. Now, what is the fast cash industry for you? Well, I mean, it's, it's, that's what we do. You know, mm -hmm. we're, we're housing investors. And so we rehab and, and ultimately flip uh, anywhere from 60 to 70 houses uh, a year. And so we've, uh, you know, grown quite a bit over the year since we started in 2015. So we're going to spend some time today kind of just talking about where it all got started and how you know how how we look at things from a cash investment perspective yeah and speaking of how it all got started what what was the thing that kind of interest you what made you want to start getting into the fast cash industry with the real estate yeah it, it's it's uh, as a cash investor that that just kind of happened upon us it was it was a it was a passion real estate was a passion you know so we we i started uh, i've done many businesses in the past and so i i owned rentals and uh through rentals um and fixing up some of those rentals over the years, it just kind of led to the opportunity to invest in other houses and ultimately rehab them and sell them. And so we started doing that in 2015, and uh, it just has gone from 11 to 20 to 30 to 40 now 50 to 60, 70 houses a year over yeah. our uh, you know over the course of time. And so it started as just a general interest, like everybody else has, and something that I just had the time to kind of dive into and. From there, it's uh, kind of led to what it is today. Absolutely. It's definitely a process go going from start to finish with that or just building from ground up. But why do you do the fast cash industry? What is the, something that drives you uh, in this market? You know, obviously, there's there's the living aspect to it. So everybody who does it to, to, to make a living. And, yeah. and it's it's nice to be able to do something that you love. And, and we are able to do something we absolutely enjoy. And and uh, my wife, Cheryl, runs KCPG Realty Group, which is the realty group that sells all the houses from KC Property Guys. And so I get to work with the family. And, of course, you are running marketing, and, and uh, you get to visit houses on a weekly basis. And yeah, you're that's a fun to, part of the job. <laughs> you get a test, yeah. You get to test uh, your, your appetite and the future of investment as well, right? You even looked at a house up in Eudora today or, Absolutely. and throughout this week. And so you're, you're kind of diving in a little bit with interest, and you get to see the peer guys and how they do their work on the foundation side and, and the experts that we have working on houses throughout the Kansas City area. Um, so th just the passion and being able to do what we do and – and there's a part of me that uh, really, as as the volume is growing and 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 the living and professionalism there is, is there now it's now it's become as much of uh, just a, a a a need to go out there and help people because there's a lot of people that have a need where. 
the house isn't fun anymore. You know, yeah. it's it's a it's a deficit. It's a burden. Uh, it can be a burden in many cases. Divorces and and medical issues and foreclosures and distresses and job changes and and the last thing that they have to worry about is paying a mortgage at the end of the month, and that that can be really tough for some people. And Absolutely. so we've 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 developed multiple uh, a lot of different options, not just cash for houses. Uh, I mean, that's that's a big part of it. People tend to contact us, uh, you know, specifically for cash, but there's other yeah. options there, and I'm, I'm, we're able to use our resources to do that. So helping people has developed over the ages to to. As a as a big part of what we do, and and uh, you know, it, you know, I used to say we make we make Kansas City beautiful. And I think all investors that rehab houses do this. We make Kansas City a little bit more beautiful, one house at a time. Absolutely. And so, for, from uh, deep in the inner city types of houses and dwellings to outskirts suburban areas. I mean, we're working in Topeka right now, and so with your you're within an hour's drive, we can make Kansas City and the the surrounding areas, you know, a little bit more nicer to see a block by block house by house one house at a time absolutely so you talk a lot about uh growing volume and how you're branching out into topeka and miami um <clears throat> excuse me miami missouri and a few other places uh what are some types of mistakes that come along with the volume of houses and yeah. and what have you learned throughout this ha. process i mean i'm sure there's quite and there's probably a little <laughs> bit more to than you can like say and, and explain right now but i mean just give us kind of a a view of what it, what comes from flipping houses. Yeah, well, yeah, you lessons come expensively in houses, right? And you learn through your pocketbook, and so there's uh, uh, the mistakes you made cost real money. Yeah, and, and and so timing is time is money. You when you when you're flipping houses, you got to be able to do it effectively. There's there's cost of monies involved. There's cost of 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 lag time of going back to market and cost of of monies for the uh, funding to the contractors and the material and so recouping all those costs is key and when a house gets delayed for whatever reason that comes expensively there's unforeseen issues in houses that come expensively you know not knowing what that sewer line is like and all of a sudden it's collapsed on you and you weren't planning for it on the budget and you got a four thousand or forty five hundred dollar bill at the end of the day that comes through uh, inspections and resolutions, and you know you, you learn from those mistakes. And so uh, I I tell everybody this: you 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 and and this is really common knowledge in investment world. It's it's you buy you lose or 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 win on the on the day that you buy the property. So you know what you're buying, know what you're getting into, uh, have your exit planned. Uh, you know, planned out, mm -hmm. uh, know your general timing at which you can be out of that property so you can avoid uh, real expensive issues over time. Gotcha. And with experiencing mm -hmm. all of these issues, uh, going back to volume, how are you able to keep up with all of this volume and there being issues, say there could be issues with m multiple houses that you haven't seen? How are you able to keep up this volume? Uh, you know, it's... Uh, I don't know how do we keep it up we just we we, we wake up and we fight the good fight you know yeah. <laughs> you put your best foot forward and you give it 100 percent. you try to give it your a game and hopefully all things go well but I, I i think what's what sparked that volume is the ability like i mentioned earlier just to work with people um it, it's it's you know back in the day when we first started i wanted every house and yeah. i wanted at my cost not their <laughs> cost and and that's just not the case anymore you mm -hmm. know i i, I we, we tend to listen to people. We tend to listen to life scenarios. We tend to try to work with them as best we can. We've, we've created actually programs aside from cash buying that specifically bring more equity back to the table. Um, we got the, the, the scalability of, of economies of scale working in our favor that I can actually pass on to the homeowners. Like, uh, you know, we're one of Home Depot's largest rehabbers on the Kansas side. Oh, and really? So, that relationship alone and the the way that they treat us and 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 the discounts that we get and their ability to actually you know deliver materials to the house and to actually walk houses with us it, it it's really a group effort and that 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 convenience actually saves us time and money and those types of uh savings i can pass on to customers we got I, i'm casey peer on the foundation side so uh you know 30 percent of our houses have some type of foundation issue this is kansas it's it's got clay soils and 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 those soils just re wreak havoc on kansas homes and so you know uh, the
the average investor that has to outsource uh, foundation work is looking at a you know a five, a ten, a fifteen, a twenty, maybe a thirty thousand dollar bill on extreme situations. And and so obviously, as owning a company allows us to uh, use that cost savings, and I can provide those cost savings over to homeowners. Um, we're, we're KCPG Realty Group. You know, there's there's six realtors, and 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 my wife Cheryl's the the team lead, and and having those realtors in house uh, has the ability to you know allow us to run some efficiencies that ultimately we can we can use to our advantage to help homeowners. And so, uh, I, I I think the ability to provide variety outside of the just the cash option, we're not just a one stop you know, shooter and, and a shot, there's actually multiple options there for homeowners. And I think that that uh, plays well to, you know, helping us grow. And, and it, you know, if you go to Google and you look up the reviews on KC Property Guys, we got some really great stories. We've worked with some great people in the past and all that stuff kind of works in our favor that allows us to kind of continue to do the volumes that we're doing. Absolutely. So obviously you've grown to a massive extent over the years and made made yourself one of the higher marketers in the area and investors. What are, who are some key players or are there any key players that have helped you along the way, kind of building up to where you are? Who helped you get started? Yeah, well, I probably Home I, Home Depot, like I mentioned before. You know, those guys are good. It's it's uh, Steve Norris and and the the guys over at Merriam Home Depot specifically take take really good care of 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 me, and in turn adopt uh, our crews that we're working with. Uh, my crews can go directly to Steve. Steve can take care of them directly with his team, and and I don't necessarily have to be involved. I can kind of keep my focus on some of the higher level items and and check in with with uh, you know Steve and the Home Depot guys you know from time to time and and keep those things running. Uh, Platinum Title uh, does a lot of our title work, and uh, Margaret Arnold and Tiffany Stark at a Platinum Title, and and the, and the ladies out there help us a lot because they know they know our game, they know what we do, um, they they help us quite a bit. Mike Deering, our, our real estate attorney, does a fantastic job, and so there's just a whole bunch of key players that that know what we do and how we do it, and know that we're out to help people and and uh, know our creative ways of thinking of working with different houses and different situations and our billet and, and have the ability to support us through that. Like what you hear so far? Make sure you never miss a show by clicking the subscribe button now. The podcast is made possible by listeners like you. Thank you for your likes, shares, and support. Now, back to the show. For sure. So for other people that are kind of wanting to get into the house flipping business, um, is the market changing right now, whether it be through regulation or just how deals are being created? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I mean, anybody can call themselves an investor. I've said that many times, yeah. whether you do one house or two house, five house, 10 house, 50 houses, you know, everybody's an investor and, and there's lots of ways to do cash investments. So you can even invest without cash. There's a lot of those programs out there that say, Hey, buy buy houses with other people people's money you know wholesalers that are out there and and some of those are kind of you know unfortunately seller beware types of things as well you really need to know as a seller who you're dealing with and and uh, check their google reviews and and make sure that uh, you know the person that you are dealing with is legitimately going to buy buy your house and close on the date that you're going to close um so you got to kind of watch out for some of the uh models sales and and buying models that are out there yeah. as a seller as a homeowner um but in terms of variety or, or regulation there there really is no real regulation out there there is no housing authority that that regulates how uh we do business in the cash market outside of there's no real estate commission per se but the, there is there is old google and google <laughs> google speaks volumes <laughs> You know, if you get a poor review, if you don't live up to your reputation, if you don't say what you do and do what you say, you know, at the end of the day, people know that. Yeah, people it's recognize there. that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So regulation, regulation and the power of the people is a strong, uh, you know, carries, <coughs> carries a strong message. Absolutely. Right? And, and, and we try to make sure that we, 
we take care of people as much as we can. Yeah, you got to take care of people because in the end, the people take care of you in return. Yeah, there um, you go. <laughs> so what's the future hold for KCP and Kansas City Property Guys as a whole? What's What do you guys have up and coming? Yeah, uh, I don't know. We keep fighting the good fight. I said that earlier, yeah. you know, just wake up and keep doing it. You know, we always look for different ways uh, to reach out to people, let us know the services that we have. Uh, we, we, we're, we're always, uh, you know, KCP is offered both on the public side as well as, you know, our private houses. And so... KC Pier markets itself out to the general public as well. Um, we just want to make uh, you know everyone aware that uh, this is this is what we do, and we're there as a resource. You know, selling for cash as a house away from the traditional real estate is is trending. I mean, it it really is. It's becoming more and more acceptable. And uh, when we first started in 2015, I mean, it was you, you really kind of had to dig up your leads, and you still kind of do. But uh, I'm I'm amazed at how people find out about us and through through channels and are, are just experimenting and want, exploring the options outside of the traditional real estate and put the sign in the yard and sell it through the MLS. I mean that 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 definitely is trending and evolving kind of as we as we speak. So as a company, we 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 recognize that and we're trying to uh, make sure that we we take advantage of of the opportunities that we have. Awesome. And then you you were mentioning there's always other ways than fa- just straight cash buying a house. What are a few ways that you guys as Casey case Property guys are able to work with people that are in these situations? Yeah. Um, if you go to our website, it says creative real estate solutions, mm-hmm. right? And, 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 and so that's been developed. That tagline did not start there. Yeah. And what's your website? It's uh, caseypropertyguys.com, of awesome. course, yeah. right? And so... Uh, you, you go there and it's creative real estate solutions. We didn't start with that tagline, but over time and, and again, listening to people and working with situations and using the resources that we have, we just kind of create out of the box solutions that take advantage of, of the resources that we have. So different types of programs, I can't necessarily name specific ones, but there's always, almost always, when we talk to people, more than one option available. And each option can be exercised to bring more equity back to the table the biggest difference is how much time do you have and what's the cost of cash because the time does does come at a cost. I mean, you can sell a house literally in 15 minutes after meeting me if you want, but it does come at a cost because there's a cash involved. I'm, I'm paying the realtors and I'm ultimately fixing up the house. But uh, if you're looking for more equity, absolutely, that's where the creative side comes in. And we can create different solutions for you as long as you have the time to make it happen. Absolutely. So if you guys are actually looking for some creative real estate options or stuck in a house where it's just kind of becoming a burden, go to kcpropertyguys.com and just uh, get in contact with them. Uh, how can people contact you? What's your guys' yeah, info? Yeah, no, absolutely. You're right. kcpropertyguys.com. You can go in there. There's an easy form that you can fill out. We always ask people to tell us your story. You know, we want get, to get the background of what you're doing and maybe why you're doing it, what you're thinking or what you're trying to do or what you're kind of experimenting with. And then we'll just quickly be in touch with you. We're going to set up a time to walk the house, kind of give the, the nickel tour. What is what I tell people is let's take the nickel tour and, and let's let's just kind of talk it out and try to find that solution that's going to fit you guys best. Great. Well, thank you so much for coming on the podcast today. Yeah, you um, bet. If you guys are trying to get in contact with them for some creative real estate options, feel free to reach out to them on KansasCityPropertyGuys.com or just give them a call at 913-730-730. 0086 and we'll see you guys on the next episode have a great day thanks for joining us this week on the kansas city real estate industry leader show please support all things local to kansas city and hey be sure to subscribe and share our podcast on facebook and linkedin this has been a kc property guys production kcpropertyguys.com